I don't I don't understand Streamlit. Ah, uh, nested buttons. This is a common problem in the Streamlit community. And to understand this behavior, we need to come back into the very fundamental nature of Streamlit. So in your Python script, you define variables and functions. Then you run your Python script with the Python command line, and then you get to see the results. Then you want to see what happens if you change the variable. Now, maybe they are hard-coded in the script. Maybe you just define them as argument in the command line. But then you still need to rerun the script. And this is tiring. Remember, we developers are lazy. What if we had a library that would rerun the Python script every time I would change the variables or the functions? So with Streamlit, you just rewrite your script to integrate Streamlit widgets in place of your variables so you are able to interact with them in the app and then anytime you edit the code or interact with the widgets to change the variables the script will rerun from top to bottom with the updated values in variables. This makes it super easy to interact with your code. But you see the Streamlit button gives us an interesting problem. Because whenever you click on a button in the app, the value becomes true. Well, well you just clicked it, so it's true. And then in any other cases, like if you have interacted with another widget, well, its state comes back to false because you did not interact with it. But what happens if you put a button inside a button when you click on the second button the its state becomes true but the state of the first button goes back to false because you did not interact with it which means when the script reruns from top to bottom it comes to the state of the first button which is false and it doesn't go to the second button so if all you do is loop over your python script by changing variables and code you have no way of remembering the previous values or states of your applications and that makes it more difficult to build more involved apps. How can I preserve that my user is authenticated? If I'm building multi-page apps, where do I store the current page I'm on? How do I increment a counter if I don't know the previous values of a counter? How do I make a to-do list if I have no way of storing the items in my to-do list? How should we solve this problem? In Streamlit 084, Streamlit introduced session state, a safe place for values to be preserved from the Streamlit looping auger. This is a good place to store whether you have clicked on the first button for the duration of the user session. So let's initialize a new variable to false in session state, which we will edit to true when we click on the first button. With the introduction of session state, most widgets now have an onclick or onchange mechanism, which call back a function before rerunning the whole app. That's the perfect place to change the session state of button clicked to true before rerunning the whole app. Now you can use this session state to verify that the first button has already been clicked once, making it possible to see the balloons at the end of the nested second button. And there it is, with session state we now have a place to store anything that we want to keep between Streamlit reruns. You can store pretty much anything in there. You can even put your best performing machine learning model, for example. So really don't hesitate to abuse it. Happy streaming! I see a sky with a rain cover If you want more of those Streamlit tutorials, don't hesitate to leave a like and then see you next time.